Welcome to WISIS Farm 2018. I am delighted to be joined by Yvette Ramos, who is Vice President of Inwest in charge of external relations. So Yvette, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. And can you tell us a bit more about Inwest to start with? Yes, Inwest started 1964, a long time ago. Uh, we are a global uh, network of women in STEM organizations. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We represent roughly 250,000 women in STEM in the world. We have members from uh, uh, roughly 100 countries and we work with and for STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics, so including ICTs of course. Because women are vastly underrepresented yes. in the STEM sector, aren't they? Yes, 10% roughly worldwide, 28% researchers are women in the world, this is UNESCO report. In Switzerland, only 10% of women uh, of engineers are women. Uh, Europe, globally, we are 18 to 25%. So there's a lot uh, still to do. And we've seen at the WISIS that uh, still there is a gender gap. And why is that? What do you think are the core uh, roots uh, of this problem? We are not socio sociologues, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, our, uh, um, there are facts and reports who say that girls don't go enough for STEM. We, we don't study STEM when, uh, when we are young. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, InWest develops programs for kids. Uh, it is said that at the age of 10 to 12, we make our own decisions. So depending on the family, the education you get, and the differences that you were raised with, uh, with you compared to your brothers, uh, then w it, uh, it can be a challenge in some countries. So, so of course you'd like to see more women in the STEM sector, yeah. but science, technology, overall ICT is also a powerful tool for including more women into yes. the yes. STEM sector. So we work not only for the usage of ICTs and including women uh, in, in this usage of ICTs, but also de as developers and uh, integrators and entrepreneurs in ICTs. Uh, this is really what uh, the, our goal is, is uh, we, we believe in a more equal world and it's of course still a challenge of the 21st century and uh, uh, we believe that WIS is here and thanks to ITU it is a great platform to voice that and uh, work towards concrete actions. And it's a good platform to meet other stakeholders as well yes. because it's a joint effort at the end of the day, isn't it? Yes, it is. And we yesterday we signed a global agreement between the INOES, the International Network of Women Engineers and Scientists, with various stakeholders, uh, including the IFT, the Instituto Federal de Telecomunicaciones de Mexico, so the regulator in telecommunications of Mexico. They have 1,200 employees, only 57 women engineers in there. So we've got tools. We did a wonderful workshop and we signed an agreement with them with the ITU the BDT and thanks to Dr. Sanu we we are on the right track and of course with uh, ministers including the Minister of ICT uh, Mrs. Aurélie from uh, Bénin Republic and uh, other stakeholders we we are very happy to work with in the public and private sector. Yvette Ramos thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>